our first scholarship winner wrote about the influence of his parents on his success. He specifically mentioned his mother, teaching him to never take anything for granted. Even with his many successes, he has continued to work hard and will be a preferred walk-on football player at the University of Memphis this fall. The recipient of a $10,000 All-State Sugar Bowl Scholarship from John Curtis Christian is Austin McCready. Austin, can you say a few words? Um, I just want to uh, thank the National Football Foundation, All-State Sugar Bowl, for nominating me for this award and, and blessing me with it. And I just want to thank God for putting me in the position I am today with everything that is, he has blessed me with. I want to thank Coach JT Curtis. I want to thank the whole coaching staff and all the teachers and everybody at John Curtis. I want to give a special thanks to my mom and my dad because they have just, they, they just supported me throughout my entire life at anything I've ever done. And like, whether it's football, it's baseball, it's a classroom, whether it's anything I have done that I wanted to pursue, they support me through it no matter what. Thank you, Austin. Thank you so much. Our next winner wrote about effort and selflessness. He also impressed us very much with his planning for the future. He has been a volunteer with an orthopedics and prosthetics practice and plans to major in biomedical engineering at Louisiana Tech. After completing his education, he hopes to open his own practice to give opportunity to those in need. The recipient of a $10,000 Allstate Sugar Bowl Scholarship from Fountain Blow High School is Carter Ledbetter. Carter, can you say a few words, please? I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for giving me a good foundation on just how important volunteering is. And then I'd also like to thank my coach, Coach Blocker, Coach Dyke, and Coach Boomer, as all three of those were really important in my football career. And I'd like to thank Mr. Kenny for giving me the opportunity to volunteer at the orthopedics and prosthetics place because that was a really neat experience for me. Thank you, Carter. Thank you so much. Our third scholarship recipient wrote an outstanding essay, very appropriate for a young man who has set a goal of becoming a journalist. His hard work resulted in, in him being accepted to 13 colleges. He plans to attend Howard University after his research showed that, quote, I'll quote him, Howard's Department of Media, Journalism and Films mission aligns with my belief that journalism is a great medium to entertain people while informing them on the world's issues. The recipient of a $10,000 All-State Sugar Bowl Scholarship from De La Salle High School, Robert Hudson III. Robert, would you say a few words? Yes, first of all, I would like to thank you know, my parents for giving me life and pushing me to always succeed, especially in the classroom. And I would definitely give a thanks to Coach Manali for always pushing me, for always encouraging me when times were rough during football season. And just thank him for trusting me with being a leader on the team. And of course, God, because without him, nothing's possible. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much. Our next scholarship winner wrote about the lessons in leadership and responsibility that came from playing football, specifically quarterback. He applied those lessons to the classroom and his community work and excelled at both. He also wrote of his goal to become an athletic trainer to, again, to quote him, help keep the players healthy and safe as mine did for me. The recipient of a $10,000 All-State Sugar Bowl Scholarship from Thomas Jefferson High School Noah St. Pierre. Before I introduce our final scholarship recipient, I want to say a few words about one of my fellow Sugar Bowl committee members, Oliver Delery. Oliver was a longtime member of the Sugar Bowl committee. He was the youngest president of the organization back in 1996 and remained very active on a wide range of committees helping keep the Sugar Bowl at the top of the college football world. Oliver died this past January, and in his memory, 
we will now present the Oliva Delery Scholarship on an annual basis. I would like to thank his wife, Susie, his son, O, and daughter, Charlotte, for continuing to support this organization. The inaugural winner of the $20,000 Oliver Delery Scholarship wrote about the many challenges faced by his family as they immigrated from Mexico to the United States. He wrote about his mother's efforts to create a stable home and about his stepfather who taught him the value of hard work. He closed his essay by writing, I want to prove to them that they did not fail me, that I can work for my own future and come out successful. So far, he has been nothing but a success, and we hope this $20,000 scholarship will help him continue on that path. From East Jefferson High School, Alfredo Avendano Salcido. Alfredo, would you say a few words, please? Uh, yes, first of all, I'd like to thank God for all the opportunities he's given me, everything that he's put in my path. And I'd like to thank my mom. I know she did everything in her power to give me my the best life and i'd like to thank my stepfather because he showed me everything showing me hard work how to take everything and i'd also like to thank coach alello and coach gilliat because they always had my back in the football field and in class and i know they always believed in me since freshman year thank you congratulations again